Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is our first adventure into this whole teach from home situation. And I might need to upgrade my studio from my bedroom to anything else. But this is what we got right now. So today you've uh, got an, an assignment or two on the classroom roll with them by Friday. You got videos to watch, and then of course this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to do some of these problems. So let's just get into it. Okay, um, some vinyl records, let's call them oldies, rotate at the rate of 72, 78 revolutions per minute. Okay, so I'm going to cube this. I know, no, nah, that's not what I want. Well, I want to cut some of the red. All right, so here we go. So I've got 78 revolutions per minute. The chart below shows revolutions per minute for three different tracks on another type of vinyl record called Goodies, which has a greater rate of revolutions per minute, the oldies or the goodies. Aha, uh -huh. so we're comparing rates. That is the slope of a function. Um, okay, so <clears throat> The chart below shows revolutions per minute of three different tracks on another type of vinyl record called goodies. Okay. Okay, so when, here's how I digest this. When it says revolutions per minute, uh, the per is indicating how the fraction's going to look. So that's, so that's 78. I can probably make this easier to read. So 78 per one minute. That is revolutions of an oldie. Now these, so we're going to compare that to 135 for three minutes. Yeah, I'm always going to put the revolutions on the top and the minutes on the bottom. Uh, that'd be 135 for 3 versus 180 for 4 minutes, and then 225 for 5 minutes. <clears throat> so these are just simply division problems. Um, I mean, we're starting the origin at zero, zero. You know? Uh, and we're doing time. Like one minute, two minutes, three minutes. And we're trying to compare which one's going faster. Well, at one minute, so we'll let me do it. So let's do our oldies. So if we did, oh, we need to go to 225, so like, I don't know, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, like that. Ah, that's, not, that's the wrong number. Oh, will I have time to edit? Undo, undo, undo. So if this was 50, this was 100, and this is 150, and this is 200, and this is 250. So our oldies track, one minute, so maybe somewhere right in here. Something like that, and <coughs> excuse me. So there's oldies right there. Okay, so now what we want to do is compare whether or not these other ones are faster. Um, so let's do these goodies. Okay, so at three minutes, one thirty-five. <clears throat> Be they right around there? 
four minutes. Ah, that was kind of crooked. Now, I know these drawings are horrible, but they might service us just uh, as we need. So, one, okay, so at four minutes, it's one, four minutes, it's 180. And if five minutes is 225. Oh, and I almost lined them up. It's pretty decent. So generally speaking, okay, so I didn't line them up perfectly, but let's just say let's just say that that's about it. Okay, so the question was which one has the higher rate of change now? <coughs> Excuse me. This little graph I made, though it is ugly, does kind of make me think that the old of these has the higher rate of change. But if you don't want to take the time to do all this graphing, hey, just do some division. I'm going to pull up that thing that we call a calculator. Uh, we don't need to see the scientific theory. So the standard. Why is it taking up so much of my screen? There we go. Okay, 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 okay. So, so 78 divided by 1. Oh, shocker. It's 78. And I know you all were thinking, why is he even bothering? Okay, so let's see what these are. So, let's see, 135 divided by 3 is 45. Da, 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 da. Pick a color. All right, so this is. That's not what I wanted. I want a pencil. I want green. Let's undo that line. Okay. So this is 45. And I bet the rest are going to be the same. Let's see. Oh, and that is revolutions per minute. Okay. So let's do 180 divided by 4. Yep, it's 45. And then 225 divided by 5 is 45. Yeah, so these are all at 45. They're the same rate. And that makes sense because they are the same kind of record. So really, I mean, if I wanted to do this problem much faster and I understood more about what's going on, I could have picked any one of these and just done the division and then compared it to the 78. But this is not how I do things apparently today. So what we're doing when it's asking to compare these rates of change, it's asking you to compare the slope. And that is a that is a graph. But of course, if you know the graph exists, you could just do the division. So here are my options. Which has the greater rate of revolutions per minute, the oldies or the goodies? Well, I'm going to slam dunk this on the oldies. It's not even close. The graph shows it, the math shows it. And that is how you compare rates and proportional relationships on this column lesson. All right, make sure you post comments if you have any questions or email me directly. And I'll see you next time.